I've been in the online data science scene now for about three years. And over that time, I have seen a lot of advice, which I don't think is actually very helpful for aspiring data scientists. So in this video, I want to break down all of the main bits of advice that I think you should avoid if you're looking to become a data scientist. Let's get into it. This is one I see all the time where people would say that don't learn data science because AI will take over the job in a few years. I mean, it's just ridiculous. If data scientist jobs was taken over by AI, what jobs wouldn't be taken over by AI? Software engineer, gone. Lawyer, gone. Accountant, gone. I mean, if AI got so smart, they can take over all the mathematical reasoning, logical deductions that data scientists can do. It can pretty much do pretty much every other job out there on the market as well. You could even argue that data scientists and machine learning engineers will probably be the last job actually taken by AI because we kind of know how AI works under the hood, how the algorithms operate. So we will need us data scientists, machine learning specialists to be able to like upkeep these algorithms and keep them running and ticking over. So in the worst case scenario, we'll probably be the last ones to lose our jobs. It has been shown that the current AI systems really struggle with mathematical reasoning, which is one of the most fundamental processes behind being a data scientist. I mean, even the so-called software engineer killer Devon has pretty much been debunked and shown that it's not really as good as the owners said it was at the beginning. All in all, don't worry about AI. There's much more bigger fish to fry if you're looking to become a data scientist. Now, don't get me wrong. You certainly don't need a PhD in maths to become a data scientist. Although some jobs do advertise it, it's a very rare case. But for those people who say, don't learn the maths because all the Python libraries like PyTorch and XGBoost handle it for you under the hood, really are missing something. And it's not actually great advice because you'll never really be a good data scientist if you don't have some basic grounding in things like linear algebra, calculus, and probability. You don't need to be a complete whiz in these subjects, but just understanding the fundamentals is so important for your career and it will pay off over the long run. Nothing is worse than being asked by a manager or stakeholder to explain how your analysis or model works under the hood. Because if you don't know how it works, then it's quite embarrassing. And also the stakeholder will just lose confidence in your abilities and in the things you deliver because you don't understand how it works. So why would they trust you? So all in all, learn the maths. It's really important. Again, it's not super difficult. You can follow this video that I have here which will detail all the mathematical concepts you need to learn and the resources you need. It shouldn't take you too long. I mean, I upskilled myself for a year or two when I was becoming a data scientist in the required maths because I knew over the long run it would really pay off. And now when I learn any new concepts, I learn it a lot quicker because I understand all the basic theory. So make sure you learn it. It's really important. Along the same lines, I also hear that you need to be super intelligent to become a data scientist. While it is true that many data scientists do come from STEM subjects, which most people will class as being smart, they kind of overlook a fundamental property often with these people, which is just consistent effort and hard work. I know saying hard work nowadays is not seen favorably, and I'm not promoting a grind culture by any means. But to get good at anything, particularly something like data science, you just need to put in time and effort of a consistent period. It's not glamorous or glitzy, but there really is no kind of secret on how to become a data scientist. I often say to people that everything is actually quite simple. The hard part is just doing it over a long period of time. It's difficult to constantly learn every single day, with no kind of end goal or guaranteed result at the end. You just have to operate on faith and what you're doing is the correct thing and eventually you'll get there. This is how kind of most successful people think. They think if they put in the input, then eventually they'll get somewhere. Obviously you need target and direction, but the hardest part is just doing it every single day on a consistent basis. That's all you have to do with some general direction and eventually you will get there and you'll be the smart person that everyone thinks data scientists are. Many of the data scientists I know had to overcome significant challenges to get to their position. Some even quit their job, went back to university to learn machine learning in order to get a data science job. Now, I'm not saying that's what you should do. Every scenario and situation is different, but it goes to show you that the lengths and extent people will go through in order to get a career they really love. 
Don't go into data science if you only want to work on deep learning and LLMs, because I promise you, you'll be bitterly disappointed. Very few companies actually use LLMs and deep learning on a daily basis. Most companies actually just use regular machine learning and statistical analysis for most of their data science workflows. There does exist certain companies like research labs and certain domains like recommendation systems that do apply deep learning quite frequently, but they're quite a rare case. And like I said, there's not many opportunities in those spaces compared to the whole other side of data science. Additionally, if you do want to work on deep learning and LLMs, I don't recommend you start right off the bat learning those topics. You must start learning the fundamentals of machine learning because that's what sets you up in your career for the long term. You need to gain an understanding in areas like linear and logistic regression, Bayesian statistics, random forests and gradient boosted trees. All the basics and fundamentals which are applied pretty much at every company is something you should be really proficient on before you move on to the advanced topics like deep learning and LLMs. I fell victim to this way too often in my early data science career. Whenever I was given a problem, I would immediately find or look for the most cutting edge tool or technology to apply to the problem, instead of just actually solving the business issue at hand. Stakeholders and senior managers literally couldn't care less if you solve it using reinforcement learning or some basic if conditional statement. All they care about is that you meet their requirements and you generate business impact. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you just do it. If you are a new data scientist, I want you to focus solely on generating impact for the business in any way possible. Don't focus necessarily on the tools or technologies you want to use. It's really good to learn new things, but if you really want to make a mark and get progress in your career, then you should really focus on business value and that should be your main thing you're looking for. If you enjoyed this video and you want more data science advice like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Dishner Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, then I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out.